back to Preschool Storytime. I'm Miss Robin from the Whittier Public Library and today we have a very special Thanksgiving uh, story time. So let's hop on the welcome train so we can begin. All right, so we're moving our arms around like this because we're gonna chugga, 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 chugga. Choo, choo, here we go. Oh, the welcome train is coming, get on board. Choo, choo. The welcome train is coming, get on board, choo-choo. Oh, the welcome train is coming, the welcome train is coming, yes, the welcome train is coming, get on board, choo-choo. Good job, everybody. All righty, today we are starting right over here with five nervous turkeys. Why are these turkeys nervous? <gasps> because it's Thanksgiving and lots of people like to eat turkey for Thanksgiving. So we should help them hide. Hmm, what's, what can we do? Well, let's go ahead and see what we can do with our uh, turkeys. So let's count them again. We have one, two, three, four, five turkeys. All right, now you can sing it along with me once you kind of get the tune and hear the words. And don't forget, you can always replay this story time uh, and sing it as many times as you like to. So here we go. Five turkeys were getting quite nervous. Thanksgiving soon would be back. So one turkey put on a duck suit. And now he says, gobble, quack, quack, right? He's a duck now. <gasps> Don't tell farmer. Turkey's hiding in a duck suit. And duck says, quack, quack, hmm. Let's see what our next turkey will do. But how many are left? One, two, three, four. Turkeys were getting quite nervous. Thanksgiving day's coming, not going. So one turkey put on a pig suit. And now he says gobble, oink, oink. Right? Good job, good thinking, turkey. How many do we have left? One, two, three. Three turkeys were getting quite nervous. Thanksgiving is just in a week. So one turkey put on a mouse suit. And now he says gobble. What does the mouse say? Squeak, squeak. Good job. Now he says squeak, 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 squeak. All right, how many turkeys are left? One, two turkeys. Two turkeys were getting quite nervous, so one of them knew what to do. One turkey put on a cow suit, and now he says gobble. Does he say? Moo, moo. Gobble, gobble, moo. Gobble, gobble, moo. How many are left? One. One turkey was getting quite nervous. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving Day. So one turkey put on a horse suit. And now he says gobble, nay, nay. Good job. Now where are the turkeys? I don't see any, do you? The farmer was getting quite nervous. Today is Thanksgiving Day, but he cannot find any turkeys. But here's quack, oink, squeak, moo, and nay, nay. No turkeys. <laughs> Sorry, farmer, no turkeys for you. All right, let's say bye to all of our friends. Toodaloo, duck, gobble, gobble, quack, gobble, gobble, squeak. Gobble, gobble, hoink. Gobble, gobble, moo. And gobble, gobble, nay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay, it's time for a story. Today we are reading 
Dot and Hippo Give Thanks. This book is written by Jonathan London and illustrated by Andrew Joyner. And this book is being read with the permission of Two Lions Publishing, uh, which is an, actually an imprint of Amazon Publishing. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. It was almost Thanksgiving and the leaves were still tumbling, falling down to the ground. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Hippo was raking the leaves into a huge pile and dreaming of a good old fashioned Thanksgiving. When a white blur flew through the air, and plopped right into the middle of Hippo's pile. What was it? A head popped up, and it was Duck! 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 cried Hippo. What are you doing? I'm jumping into a pile of leaves, said Duck. It's fun, why don't you try it? I'm trying to make a pile all nice and tidy, Hippo said with a huff. Bonk! Oh no! Just then an apple fell on Hippo's head. Hippo rubbed his head and polished the apple, then handed it to Duck. For you, he said. Thanks, Hippo, Duck said. Speaking of giving thanks, said Hippo, Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Let's celebrate together. Yes, said Duck. I'll help. And let's invite all of our friends too. To get ready for the feast, Duck and Hippo went shopping. Duck said, I want to ride in the basket. She grabbed food as they zoomed down the aisles. Whee! Faster! squealed Duck. Then Duck jumped out and Hippo squeezed in. But the shopping cart wouldn't budge and Hippo tried to squeeze out. I'm stuck, cried Hippo. No problem, boomed Elephant. He lifted Hippo right out. Thank you, Elephant, said Duck and Hippo. And Duck invited him for Thanksgiving. Delighted! boomed Elephant. Hippo wanted some crusty bread for their good old-fashioned Thanksgiving. So Duck and Hippo got in line at the bakery. Turtle was ahead of them. You go first, said Turtle, and take your time. Take your time. Thank you, Turtle, said Duck and Hippo. And Duck invited him for Thanksgiving. Terrific, said Turtle. By now, Duck and Hippo were so hungry, they went to Pig Pizzas, and they ate a slice of Pig's special pizza of the day. Thank you, Pig, said Duck and Hippo, and invited her for Thanksgiving. Yummy, cried Pig. I can't wait. Back at Hippo's house, Hippo said, Oh, there's so much to do for our good old-fashioned Thanksgiving. So Duck went out and gathered leaves. She just couldn't help but jumping in. Whee! Hippo went out and gathered pumpkins. quack a doo cried Duck, sitting on a pumpkin. Hey, I laid an egg. Hmm. Then Duck gathered acorn squashes. Let me help you, Duck said Hippo. Lastly, Duck and Hippo gathered apples and headed back inside. But they bumped into each other at the door. Whoops! Hippo bowed and said, after you, dear Duck. Then together they decorated the table with leaves and squashes and perfect little pumpkins. When they were done, Duck did a dance on the table and saying, ta-da! See you tomorrow, she said, jumping off. 
That night, Hippo went to sleep and dreamed of a good old-fashioned Thanksgiving. Before Duck went to bed, she told their friends, let's make something special for Hippo. The next day, Hippo was busy. He baked a good old-fashioned apple pie, a good old-fashioned pumpkin pie, a good old-fashioned acorn squash, and his house was filled with a good old-fashioned smell. He couldn't wait for his good old-fashioned Thanksgiving to begin. But it was getting late. Hippo looked out the window. Is it daytime or nighttime? Can you tell? Oh, it's dark. It looks like nighttime. The harvest moon was rising over the trees. Night had come. But where, oh, where were Hippo's friends? Here we are, cried Duck, and they all piled into Hippo's house. Sorry we're late, but we were all finishing up a special surprise for you. Hmm, I wonder what it could be, thought Hippo. Hippo's friends had something to offer. Turtle brought Chinese egg rolls. Elephant brought sea cucumber sushi. Pig brought pizza napolitana. And duck brought peanut butter jelly tacos. Surprise! Hmm, this is not a good old fashioned Thanksgiving feast, thought Hippo. But then he looked at the smiling faces of all his dear friends. He spread his arms wide and said, Welcome! And thank you for being who you are. Hooray! Everyone shouted. Then they all gathered round the table and held hands. Duck and Hippo gave thanks for their friends and for being together and for sharing nature's bounty. Let's eat, cried Pig. And it was a big happy feast. The best Thanksgiving feast ever. And when were they when they were done, Duck said, and now let's go outside and jump in the leaves. Whee! And that is the end. A fun Thanksgiving for all of our friends. All right, everybody, now, hmm, do you think you'd like to sing a song with me? We're going to sing a song about someone who loves to wear all these very fancy feathers. What colors do we see? We see red, orange, I see yellow, and brown. Who wears all of these feathers? You got it. It's Turkey. Turkey loves to wear these feathers. And let's go ahead and say them again. We see what colors? Red, orange, yellow, and brown ones. Good job. We're going to sing these colors in our song. We're singing, Did You Ever See a Turkey? Let's sing it together, OK? Did you ever see a turkey? I've seen one. And this turkey here has brother feathers so bright. And it goes like this. Let's sing it a couple of times for you. Here we go. Did you ever see a turkey, a turkey, a turkey? Did you ever see a turkey with feathers so bright? With red ones and orange ones. Sing it again. All right, remember all the colors. Let's sing them together. Did you ever see a turkey, a turkey, a turkey? Did you ever see a turkey with feathers so bright? With red ones and orange ones and yellow ones and brown ones. Did you ever see a turkey with feathers so bright? They're pretty bright. Bright feathers. All right, great.
great job, everybody. We're gonna, going to sing another song about being thankful, but what we have to do is we have to learn a couple of American Sign Language signs first. So we're using a little bit of ASL, American Sign Language, in our song, and we are going to sing a song where we say thank you. So can you do that? Can you take your hand and put it to your chin and bring it right down like this? That's how we say thank you. So we're going to say thank you for the food we eat. We take our hand, put all of our fingertips together and touch it to our mouth. That's how we say eat, food we eat. And we might also be thankful for all of our friends. The sign for friends is we, where we take our two pointer fingers and we let them hug each other so they can <clears throat> love each other with a hug. And we're also thankful for our family, right? Of course, so we're going to make the letter F with our hands, both hands. So we have uh, every letter um, is a different hand shape and this is the letter F in American Sign Language. So we're going to make an F with both hands where we take our pointer and our thumb and touch them together, the rest of them up, kind of like turkey feathers. So the way we say family is we take our two Fs, put them together like this and make a big circle family. Thank you for our family every day. So the last word is every day. So we'll take our hand, one arm out like this and one elbow to that hand, our pointer finger up like the sun going down every day. Are you ready? Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the friends we meet. Thank you for our family every day. Again, thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the friends we meet. Thank you for our family every day. One more time, guys. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the friends we meet. Thank you for our family every day. All right, good job everybody. Okay, one more song to end our Thanksgiving story time and we're going to roll our song cube to see what we will sing before we go. So let's count down from three. Three, two, one. All right, we are singing March, March, March. So this will be a good song for you to sing after Thanksgiving meal to burn off some of those calories. We're going to march. So let's go like this. We're going to marching, 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 marching. Sheen, hop, 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 running, 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 running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Good job, everybody. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you have a wonderful week. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you all next time in story time. Bye.